In this video, we are going to look at how to create a runtime live CD, which is used with Drive Image XML to restore an image to a computer. To begin, open a browser window and go to the Google search page by typing google.com. In this example, we will use the Google Chrome browser, but the process is very similar in the other major browsers. On the search bar, type Runtime Live and press Enter. On the list of search results, find Run a Data Recovery from our Runtime Live CD. Make sure you find the result for the website runtime.org. Click the link and the browser should go to the Runtime Software website. Here we can see various information about the Runtime Live CD. On the left are options that include how-to guides to help answer any questions you may have. In addition to English, the program is also available in German, Spanish, French, and Hungarian. Scrolling down, we see instructions for creating the Runtime Live CD, a screenshot, and descriptions of the software included on the CD. Scroll back up to the top and click Free Download to download the program. While the program is downloading, place a blank CD in your optical drive. Close any pop-up windows that may appear. In Google Chrome, you can view the progress of the download on the Downloads bar. Once the download is finished, click on it and the window Windows Disk Image Burner should appear. Make sure the proper burner is selected, in this case Drive D. Select Verify Disk After Burning if you wish, and then click Burn. The process will begin and may take several minutes to complete. Note that the Windows Disk Image Burner is only available on Windows 7 and later operating systems. If you are using an older operating system such as Windows Vista or Windows XP, you will need to download a separate program that allows you to burn CDs. Once finished, a message stating that the disk image has been successfully burned to disk should appear and the CD may be ejected. Remove the CD from the optical drive and close it. Label the CD, preferably with a felt tip permanent marker. Close all open windows. The Runtime Live CD is now ready. In the video Restoring Your Computer with Drive Image XML, we will discuss how to use the CD to restore all of the data to your computer. In this video, we reviewed how to create a Runtime Live CD which is used with Drive Image XML to restore an image to a computer. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.